Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com and in this video, we're gonna answer the question of is computer programming hard to learn? So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I get this question a lot. Is computer programming hard to learn? Well, I would kind of flip it back onto you and say, hey, tell me one thing that you think is worth doing that can actually make you money, that can actually make you happy, that can satisfy you, that's not hard, right? So if you go back in your life, search your memory vaults, you will find that almost everything that's worthwhile is actually hard, right? So. With computer programming, it's no different. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it's somehow like you'll learn it instantly. But here are a few things I will say to you. It's not harder than any other field that you want to get good at, first of all. Another thing I wanna add is I wanna kinda jump right into busting myths, okay? So some of the most handicapping myths that will stop you from actually getting good at computer programming are Number one, do I need to be a math genius to actually get good at computer programming? And I'm gonna bust this one right, oh, right away, okay? The answer is no. You do not need to be some kind of math genius to get good at computer programming, all right? Programming does not require any kind of, like you don't need to know some differential equations, you don't need to have taken some calculus, okay? There are people who have written all that code for you that you can actually kind of just use for yourself and make your life a lot easier, okay? So let's cut that one out right away because it stops 90% of the people from pursuing this field. Probably the number one growing field right now in the world. As people, we work actually harder to find excuses to not do something rather than to find excuses to do something. And this particular one, being a math genius or a math wizard, happens to be one of those ones. Myth number two, is it too late for me to start learning computer programming? Is it too late? It wasn't too late for Jeff Bezos to start Amazon. It wasn't too late for William Boeing and it certainly wasn't too late for Hugo Boss. This is another one of those myths that people use to kind of stop themselves from achieving their dreams, achieving their goals, and avoiding their fear of failure. The quick answer to that is no, it's not too late to learn computer programming. From my experience, I have taught students of who are age seven who learned and also of age 65 and older who have actually learned. And that's just from me, right? The people that I work with. Now you reach out to thousands of other people who are learning online in today's day and age and thousands of them are actually a lot older and they've started and they've become great at computer programming. And you don't always, they're not like two different companies you can work at, right? They're not just Dropbox and Google. There are many other companies and independent contractor work that you can do as a software developer. So if you develop a certain skill, let's say it's creating apps, it's creating web apps, if it's so helping solve somebody's problem, there's somebody that you can actually work with and charge. So that's how I would answer that question, okay? It's not too late for you to start learning computer programming. I have a few videos that talk about what programming language you can start off with first that can help you kind of decide, okay, where do you kind of start, all right? I have a video that will show you what kind of resources you can use to help you learn computer programming so you can learn it faster, all right? Go ahead and watch those if you're interested in pursuing this. But those were some of the most handicapping myths that I could think of that I wanted to kind of tell you that don't fall for them, okay? Don't let your excuses drive your behavior. Don't let your fear of failure stop you from achieving your goals, okay? Computer programming is an awesome field, and I think in today's day and age, everybody should be doing it. And no matter what field you're in, you can actually use it to help you. That's one of the things I cover in why you should learn to code video as well, okay? That's it, guys, for me. 
This is Kazi. I'm signing out. I love every single one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.